Now, the Republican nominee's campaign has publicly claimed that Harris has taken the reins of the Democratic ticket and it doesn't change a thing for them. But J.D. Vance had a much different story at a private fundraiser last weekend. Take a look and a listen. All of us were hit with a little bit of a political sucker punch. The bad news is that Kamala Harris does not have the same baggage as Joe Biden because whatever we might say, Kamala Harris is a lot younger and Kamala Harris is obviously uh, not struggling in the same ways that Joe Biden did. Hmm. What? They're yeah. Shooketh. They are shooketh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 I mean, it, you know, this poor guy, I feel so <laughs> bad for him because he just can't. No, no, I'm going to. I'm going to pity this okay. man. Uh, mm-hmm. All right. Remember how, how uh, Mr. T used to pity the fool? Yeah. Pity the fool. Yeah. yeah. Pity the fool. yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I pity this man. Yeah. I pity him because he's had a very bumpy rollout so far. And here he is once again saying one thing in public and another thing in private. So how much of a liability is this guy becoming? Oh, I think I think Trump is shaking. Yeah. He's like, I, I picked the wrong guy. What did I do? Oh, he's yeah. scared now. He's well, scared. he listened to his because, sons. Because, you know, the other side <laughs> has energy and youth and brilliance. And, you know, it's time for America to grow up. We're 248 years old, all right? That's pretty old at this point. You've got Mexico has a female Jewish president. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, Italy has a woman pres- uh, prime minister. Yeah. What did I do? We need, so and they're saying, oh, Josh Shapiro is Jewish. Maybe he can't be on the ticket. Why not? Come on. Mm-hmm. If Mexico can have a Jewish female president, <laughs> we can have a Jewish vice that president. Joy, that joy, that. a Muslim. They're afraid of, of Pete Buttigieg. All of the more brilliant people have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking at what is happening, looking at what is happening, J.D. Vance, which is a VP for President Donald Trump. I'm sorry about the noise, behind. Looking at J.D. Vance, which is a VP of President Donald Trump. We all see that it seems as if, according to the women of you, the Republicans are regret the Demo- Republicans are regretting. If they knew that President Biden was to step down, they could have looked for another candidate, because J.D. Vance could have not been the candidate to face Harris. They could have looked for somebody who can stand Harris. So there's a remorse for now. That why did they choose J.D. Vance? Obviously, you can still be you can still be changed. Basically, that is not a do or well situation. If you present a strong win, they can still decide to put somebody else if they want to put somebody else. So it is not yet stationary, so it can still be swapped. That's what some people are saying. Basically, looking at JD Vance, they talk about that. Um, he made a statement that President Donald Trump, you could hear that statement, that uh, Harris is much younger and Harris does not have certain baggages baggages that Biden have. So Harris is young and Harris does not have Biden's baggages, which means that there's a remorseful from the Republicans. So they are remorseful that, you know, um, Harris is young, um, able to do many things. We all know that President Biden was not only Obey, he was a sickly. So Harris is a fresh blood according to President Biden. Being that flesh, fresh blood, he can do a lot of stuff. So Harris can go out, Harris can do a lot of stuff. So know that you see the way the pools just increase. Immediately they put Harris, the pool increase. So people ask that, where were those, where were, where, where are President Donald Trump people who were increasing the pool? So where are they? Are they running away? What's happening? Because since the election, they say President Donald Trump has been really, his pools have been higher. Um, he has been winning for the pools. And ask, some people ask the question, that, where are those people that were supporting him, glorifying to increase that pool? So where are they? Are they no more day? Actually, that's the question that everyone is asking. Where are they? Where are they? But basically, looking at everything that is happening, we all say that um, J.D. Vance also, one of the classmates came and talked about him, about his character and attitude. We see that J.D. Vance is from a broke home, a broke home in poverty. They find his ways like many people 
from humble beginning to higher beginning. Even we see Obama was from a humble beginning. So that's how the world is. You can become from a humble beginning to promote his grace. Sometimes it's not only about hard work. Hard working is true. Doing those things right is true. But the grace of God also. Because there are some people who are more hard working than you. They are cautious more than you. They were, how can I explain it? More smarter. But for some reason, they are still left behind. No matter what they do, don't work for them. You just do it, work for you. So that will be grace. It's not for you to be beating your chest up because I study, because I, you wish is true. Hard working will pay you off. Being at, um, obedient will pay you off, not joining the right group. But apart from that, there are some people that did what you did and their result was different. Did more than you even, but they don't have the same result like you. So it's grace too. So the women in the group say that. So daily verse now is blaming by the people why they were poor. <coughs> J.D. Vance. So they say that J.D. Vance now, God have blessed him. So now he's instead insulting those people who are in that level that they want to stay there because they want to stay there. So he's blaming them. So Sony was not happy at all. Sony said that him, she has said, she's a victim of sin poverty. She live on full stamp. They live in the ghetto, even um, Hopi, most of those people. But she now, God raised her up. So she can speak now to those people who are down there to encourage them not to stay there, not to insult them or not to be against them. That is their fault. It's nothing like their fault. So JD Vance, who is um Sony says she's disappointed the way um, JD Vance is behaving. JD Vance is just they have just disappointed him. Ha! Ah, instead of JD Vance to be the spokesman to come out and instead that's a, that's a tack for him to explain how he grew, how they have the one bread, how they all sleep on the floor, how they do not even have food to eat, what the mama went through. And come now, but after everything, God see him through, and he was able to encourage your skid out down there. Then you are down there, but tomorrow you can become up. Just walk hard, just do this, and God will help you and put God first in everything you're doing. So Sony was not happy at all. Sony say, um, JD Vance is a disgrace to them. So JD Vance did not be for he said disgrace, disgrace, disgrace. Obviously, what do you think about all this? Do you think that JD Vance is a disgrace? What is your opinion about all this that is happening? Because JD Vance, many people did not find it funny at all with him. So obviously, let me see your opinion. What do you think about JD Vance? Remember, JD Vance was the one that they said he was against President Donald Trump in 2016 and said he's a healer of our time. Then all of a sudden, he came and said that no, he was being deceived. But all what President Donald Trump did for the four years, he has now seen that he's a better person and he decided to follow President Donald Trump. So now he said President Donald Trump is the best president. J.D. Vance is that one also who said that Harris cannot be the president. Harris is worthless because Harris don't have a child. So uh, uh, Joe Biden was saying, now what about Mother Teresa? What about Pope, Pope those popes? Does it mean those popes are worthless because they don't have children? Does it mean that those popes cannot even do well in the election because they don't have children? What is J.D. Vance talking about? All this. So obviously, they are, the women in the view claim that Donald Trump is in rig with the Republican. They don't even know if the Republicans will accept him or they'll put him down. Let me see your opinion in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. If you are not subscribed, please help subscribe and help share the video. Um, God bless you. Thank you very much for watching. If you are not subscribed, please help subscribe and share the video. Sharing and liking the video will help visibility for the video and will help YouTube to promote us very much um, in order to encourage us to keep putting new videos daily. Thank you very much and God bless you. If you have not subscribed, please help subscribe and share the video. Sharing and liking the video will help visibility for the video and will help YouTube to promote us very much. 
um in order to encourage us to keep putting new videos daily thank you very much and god bless you